So with our chapter packs, we're very lucky when we're picking our time periods that actually we can go through the book, the story itself comes off the page, and there are a variety of situations, both large and small. Big epic moments such as the Three Kingdoms themselves, for example, or the Battle of Guandu, like important moments that actually are required to tell the story of the Three Kingdoms period. Our thinking behind the Mandate of Heaven DLC was to try and create a world where the player's exploring the early stages of all their favorite characters. This is Liu Bei before he's leading armies. This is Cao Cao when he's pretty much an unknown at this point. It also allowed us to take a step back and move to the earliest phases of the Three Kingdoms period, the very formative moments where everything began. So as we move forward with the narrative through our various chapter packs, we've kind of dealt with the things behind us and are actually now moving forward into the future. In addition to the chapter packs that allow players to discover the world in new ways, jump in at later points in the story, tales of betrayal and violence uh, that they may not have uncovered as part of their main playthrough, um, we're also kind of keen to, to expand that world further. Obviously China's a giant country, a lot of areas we haven't yet had a chance to explore properly, uh, sort of the north and the south, you know, the, the fringes of, of the land. In addition to all this cool new content, uh, we're obviously going to continue filling out the world with new characters, new factions, new features. We'll be looking at old features as well, uh, enhancing those. One of the other things we're always doing is we're always looking at our community what the players are saying, what they want to see, what they're looking forward to from the Three Kingdoms period. With that in mind, we're constantly looking at free additional content that we can add to the game. Things that not just improve the experience of players with the DLCs, but of players with the base game as well. We're looking at things so much as like expanding the maps, changing things around. How do we bring in new characters, right? Every, every DLC we release, we're bringing in brand new characters who you've not seen yet. And as that continues, we'll continue to also look at our older content going back to factions that maybe aren't as strong or need some balancing, looking at those and actually trying to improve those as well and make them more fun to play. We've been listening to the community, getting a lot of feedback on board, and we're sort of aiming to make Three Kingdoms the best game it possibly can be.